Okay, this video I want to continue uh, this notion or idea of uh, positioning uh, using CSS that we started in the last video. So I'm going to jump right over to the browser so we can see what we were working on last time. And I have a general idea, general overview of how this is going to, how I want this to look. Now, will it come out exactly the way I want? Or this is not exactly necessarily how I want. We may make decisions along the way and say, eh, maybe I like something else. But I think generally speaking, this is a pretty good idea here to get us started. Uh, just to recap what we did, uh, this is this white part was the main uh, canvas area, I guess I would call it, of uh, this thing that I painted on. And so we created a wrapper here with a black background. And inside this wrapper, we put all of our objects that we would like to see here or, or something, uh, a notion of what we might like to have. Um, I'm pretty sure we would like to have a header of some sort. That's the top one, the top orange um, area. And the bottom orange area is something called that we're going to call a footer, right? So we, we definitely want those two sections and this, this sidebar here. I, I think we definitely want this sidebar over. We're going to put it on the right for right now. This is our design at the moment. Things can change. And this would be our like main content kind of area of the website. Um, I don't even really know what we're going to do in here yet. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The whole objective here is to show you guys, for me to show you how to get things to position in any sort of way that you might dream up. Right? And so up in the header here, I think what we did here, and I don't think, I know what we did, was we have this area inside this area, the orange area is the header, and inside of here, I have a pink area here that I think we're going to put a logo in, or something like that. And then this purple area inside of the header, we would probably do something like social media stuff, like some link, I would put maybe... Um, some icons in here, I'd like to see, like a Twitter icon, a Facebook icon, that kind of stuff. I don't know what we're gonna put inside of this sidebar, but I, you know, I just drew two boxes. <laughs> so well, I don't know what's supposed to go in there. This would probably be a paragraph, right? This yellow box that I have in here uh, would be the address of the business that we we're working for, it would probably go in here. And I guess I have a logo here. This is just blank space, so we'll keep this to the right uh, this one to the left, they'll probably butt up against one another is the way we want them um, with the same, well, we'll see. I mean, this is a rough draft, right? This is just a sketch. We're just calling this a sketch. So that's what we want to try to do. So I'm now going to jump. I guess I'm ready to jump on into uh, Notepad and get going on that. So let me see. I got to get you over there. I'm over there already, but you're not. So there's Notepad, there's Notepad, there's Notepad. So that is the template that we created the other day, uh, a couple of videos ago. Um, I, yeah, it's just a template, right? And I haven't changed anything on this yet. And I don't even know if it's, it's still named template. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do to create a new page, I wanna start with this one. And I'll do a file, save as. I believe I could probably just do a control S and it'll give me the whole. Oh, I didn't change anything. So uh, it's not gonna wanna save that way. And to do a control S, I have to have changed something. But I can file, save as. And I can name this something. Um, it's it's in my public HTML. I am trying to be very cautious of where I'm placing things. Oh, you can't see this pop-up window. It's a save dialog in Windows. I keep forgetting that you can't see that. Um, so I'm gonna just name it something. Um, donuts. D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T-Z. Nuts, donuts. And remember, I want to save this as an HTML, right? So in that second box down, I definitely want to choose uh, HTML, hypertext markup language, which I can never find when I'm looking around in here. So let me just, find. okay, I've got it there. And so I'm looking up on this tab, which here's my cursor. 
I'm looking up on this tab right now, and I can see that the name of this document is currently template.html. I have on my screen, which you can't see right in the middle here, a Windows Save As dialog box. In the file name, I've typed donut, nuts, and UTZ. <laughs> D-O-U-G-H and U-T-Z. I guess I'm making a donut site here. And that's the top one for name. And the bottom one, save as, type. I've chosen hypertext markup language. Now when I click save, which is, look at my mouse floating out there in the middle. That's actually a save button I'm holding on. So I'm going to click save and we're going to see that name up in this tab is going to change. Hold on, I gotta change the name. I did something slightly wrong here, but I'll fix it real quick for you. I'm gonna call it Donuts 2. And I'll save. And so now we see the name of the tab has been changed to what I saved it as. And it is a .html. And we know it is because we can, if I click on any of these things, we'll, we see that Notepad++ is aware of open and closing uh, tags. So it, it can keep our elements together. All right. We've got another quick some kind of summary reminder. Inside the head, we have the title as usual. And then we have this new meta, right? This is all in my template when we created the template in a previous video. We we do have this dot type up here, which indicates that we're using HTML5. Um, and uh, we're, we're gonna, we have created already, and it's in the same directory, so I can still use that same style sheet and that same JavaScript, which we're, we have not used at all or added any code to yet, uh, but we know we're probably gonna need it, right? Well, I intend on having some JavaScript in this class, so, or, or it's working on some JavaScript, so we will use that file in the future. The style sheet we're definitely going to use, and it's called mystyle.css, all lowercase, all lowercase, even though I think, well, I don't know. It's all lowercase. I, I remember something funny about that. Where I, oh, because I didn't use camel case. That's that's what uh, was funny. It, the, the file must be called, in my directory structure, uh, mystyle, all lowercase, as if I had use camel case and made that s right there uppercase then uh, we wouldn't have been able to confirm the existence of this file all right the last that's in a previous video we did so all of this is nothing new nothing new nothing new the end of the head i started the body up here i this i just put this is a comment right so it's just for humans and i'm going to just get rid of it because we don't need it I put that in there just for us. So here's the body of my HTML, right? And there's the entire HTML document closed right there. And we know the openings up at the top. Oh, I forgot to mention the lang. We did add the lang. That was one of the things we added one in a previous video. It was this dot type, the top line, the lang attribute, and um, this meta element. With those three things we added in a previous video and so they're not in my template so I don't have to type them every time all right so I want to start building this new web page here in body that's the visible area right for people that are viewing my scene so this will to do this to create these sections that we're looking to make like the header section the footer section the this the, the sidebar section um, these are we can think about their divisions so if we're if we're considering uh, that we have a, like a canvas or a blueprint uh, for builders. We'll go back to that builder uh, analogy again. Then we would we would we have sketched out on a blueprint. We're, we're not using AutoCAD. We weren't in that one or anything like that. We just sketched it out roughly that we would like to see a header and we would like to see a footer and some things in the headers and footers. So we know we have sections. We have rooms in this building. So we're going to use the div element to create these sections. Now that first section, the outermost section that's going to contain everything. So it's like the, the inner walls in a house, not the outer wall, but the inner walls in, a, in, in the inside of a house. 
uh, just the, the whole structure without any without any um, partition walls in yet or anything like that. So the rooms have not been divided into anything in this house as I'm getting ready to create this. This is just a wide open interior space. And I'm calling that wrapper. So it says uh, what I'm really what I'm trying to do here is just create one overall wrapping kind of element here. So that and I'm doing it with a div. Div is a generic element. So there are some other ways for us to do this, but for right now we're going to do it in a way that a lot of people do it. Right. So I've given it the ID wrapper. I did that so that in my CSS file, I'll be able to create a rule to do something with wrapper. Now let's take a peek at this thing again. This with the, the blueprint, um, it's in the browser. There it is. So we had, um, that's the, the black, the black area here, right? That's what wrapper is. It's the whole big black area. So now I'm gonna need a footer area. And I'm gonna need a content area, and I'm gonna need a sidebar area, and I'm gonna need a footer area. So I'm just gonna put them in, in order, top down, and we'll think about the positioning of these. Uh, briefly, I am gonna consider the, 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 the positioning of this one, and I'll come right back to that, right? So we'll go, I'll tell you a little bit of a reason why I'm gonna put some things in an order that I am in the, uh, in the HTML. So let me get rid of this and bring you on back to Notepad, which is right there. All right. So we've got our wrapper, the, the large black kind of um, canvas area, the, the big room, right? The, well, it's not big. It's, frankly, it's no size right now. There's nothing in it. So it's, it doesn't have a size. So inside of that room, I want to build Inside of the large room, I want to build a smaller room called header. So div ID equals header. All right, and then I'll close that div. Okay, so now I have a, uh oh, I did something wrong there. That was going to cause me a problem, right? So this I need to have. Oh, I see why, because it was one up. I was just looking at why I made that mistake there, but I see. <laughs> so now I have the room called header inside of the room called wrapper. So here we once again are going with the child parent analogy. So the header room is a child of the wrapper room. Wrapper owns the header room. So bump up. We're gonna to want to put some content in here. So let's uh, let's just type something in here. Just we gotta, we gotta have something that's visible. A div isn't visible on its own. It's it's just a, a way to um, delimit space or create some sort of space. So let's just type anything in there. Um, what did I just type? Cap. I think I just did this. Yeah, I did. All right. So I, I just put some text in there. So it's in the, I got that text in there just so we can see what, what's happening. That's the header. Then we're going to need some sort of a content area, right? And we're going to need a sidebar. Now I'm going to put the sidebar in first. If I speed this up, I'm going to make this video too long. I'm going to pause it in between when I'm typing from now on after I finish this one. So there, I've, I've closed that room. And I'm going to pipe a little text in there. 
This is the sidebar. I'll just write sidebar. So when we see that on the screen, when we visit, when we look at this page in our browser, we'll be able to see something. There's something there to see. All right, so so far I've got um, the wrapper and the sidebar. Now I put the sidebar in the, and the next one's gonna be the content area. Why did I do the sidebar before the content? So here to, let's go back to the browser so we can look at this and I'll try to explain why I'm putting them in in this order. And then I'll finish up some code and then bring it right back to it. Oh, this is what I want. All right, so we have wrapper first because everything's inside of that. And then we created header, right? That's the first thing, top, down, left to right is the way things get placed. And then I put the sidebar first before the contact, interestingly enough. One might think we should put the, the content first and then the sidebar, right? Because left to right. The browser is going to It's going to uh, not execute, but um, evaluate the statements in the code top down, left to right as it's running. So what I want the browser to do when it's looking at the HTML and simultaneously the CSS that's in the other file, I'm going to have something in the CSS that says that this sidebar needs to be floated right. Okay. So what's happening is I'm, I'm dropping the sidebar in like right here, and then I want the CSS to float it right. And then the next thing that co comes up in the HTML is the content area. So it's gonna, because there's open space here, right? This, this sidebar will have gotten pushed all the way over to the side. So there's all this open space in the browser. When I drop this content area in here, it's going to it's going to fill up to up to the sidebar. Now, if this spills over on the bottom, it'll wrap around the sidebar, right? So I I might want to make sure either I want to make my sidebar for sure bigger if I don't want that to happen, or if if I could, I can't do it with this picture with this software that I'm using here. If I could grab the bottom of this and push it up smaller, then I would want to draw this box well if this is one big paragraph if this was just a bunch of text in here then it would wrap around underneath of this box and then stop before it overlaps the footer if this makes sense to you it, it because of the all the open it fills the open space okay the browser will attempt to when it renders the HTML it will fill the open space and since we put this in first the sidebar and pushed it over to the side we created a bunch of empty space that needs to be filled. So the browser will fill it with the next element, which is going to be the content element. So hopefully that makes sense why, we, why that's happening. And I'll just take a, one more peek at it before I, before I move on and, and type some code up in here and then we'll, I'll come back and just explain it. So you don't have to sit and watch me type. So there's our wrapper. It's the overall wrapper, right? In that wrapper, we have the header and we have the sidebar. So my next element will be the content area. And then after that element, that div, I'll do a footer. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that and then I'll come right back to you. Okay, so we're back and I've typed a little bit more code here to save you from the pain of watching me type through the whole thing. We had the sidebar in already. So we were up to this div. We had the wrapper, the header, and the sidebar. Then I put another div for the main area, right? It's the main viewable area of this. The whole, I mean, everything's viewable, but this is like the content area or something of the site if we have things we're intentionally trying to show. Um, and I called it an article. I did that intentionally, and I could explain why um, later. For right now, I call it an article. Frankly, you can call it anything you want. Just so long as when you go to the CSS, you call it the same thing that you call it here. Right? It has to match up with the same case. 
And then I had the footer, right? I created the footer. And that's all I've done at this point with the whole thing. All right, and, and I keep putting these comments in here so that I can show, yeah, this is, um, these are all the sections that we have. So now what I wanna do here real quick, I wanna pull this out of here because I've already been working on this a little bit. And I wanna show you what it looks like without any style, without any style sheet. So I'm gonna just remove this and save, and we're gonna view it. And then I'm gonna come back and add that back in and then walk you through the CSS that I've been creating there. Um, so it's run, uh, in Notepad++, run, launch in Chrome, All right? And so it look, wait a minute, you don't see this yet. Switch to browser. Um, why is that page still up? I don't know. Let's see why that can be. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> so this is kind of what you would expect, right? It's uh, once again, as use as it, as it has been all along, it's the, the browser is rendering HTML top down left to right and so it's left to right we don't see this backwards or anything going that way so it is grabbing things one after the other and dropping them left to right this doesn't look very styled in any sort of way because html is not about the styling it's about the structure so now that we have the structure in place we're going to start talking about the css so then I'm going to open up the CSS part that I've been working with. Now, keep in mind, we have, we have to remember here, I'm going to drop this out because what's important is for us to remember uh, what IDs I've been using on these things. All right. So if I'm going to affect or impact wrapper in any sort of way, I, I need to remember that name, wrapper and sidebar. And I need to remember that there's no uppercase in it and there's no camel case in this. Right, it's, it's article, lower, all lowercase, and footer, all lowercase. So then I swap over to my CSS, which I already started working on so that you want to watch me type. And so, for instance, I did something with wrapper here, yeah, right? I created a pass, sort of with a pound, because it's an ID. If it was a class called wrapper, class equals quote wrapper quote but that's what i had written then i would have started this with a, a period instead or a dot instead of a, a pound sign right so the pound is denoting that we're looking for an id called wrapper as opposed to a class called wrapper right so that's why the pound's there wrapper is the name i used to define that div and then i've just put some 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 things in there we all know black right <laughs> background we know that one I put something in there called padding right we're using that and I guess I, I can tell you a little bit about what it means you'll be able to see it when we when we move forward with this um, text align I just centered the text so what did we put up there something like um, I wouldn't I didn't even put anything in the wrapper I guess I could throw something in there real quick so it would center it but you know, it's, it's unnecessary we don't even need that the wrapper doesn't really need anything in it. It's, there's not any content there. It's just wrapping everything up. So I don't, I don't know why that's there. I don't know why I put that there. And also, there's no font. If there's no font, there's no font size. So that's unnecessary too. What, what happened was I did the header first, and I just copied the header. I did the header, which could very well have text in it, <laughs> and does for our little test. Uh, and I just pasted it several times, and I changed the names right so that I could make this, well, I could show you how this is gonna to come together. Because really this is about something else. This is about the positioning. And so we needed certain minimal um, characteristics here or certain minimal things that we're gonna modify in order to make this all kind of visible. All right, so I've got some colors in here. Um, header 666, you'll see what it is when it comes up. Padding. I've got more padding in this one. I've got a little bit of padding in the wrapper. 
and more padding in the header and it's still going to be the same the rest of the way down. Now I have changed some colors here so we can distinguish um, some of these backgrounds, right? But everything else is white font, white font, white font, white font. And, um, and that's it. I've added, also added some more things. I've, so I've moved forward a little bit. So let's see what it looks like. How about we see what it looks like? Let me swap back over to, hey, we're gonna do it this way. Um, we're gonna do this, right? And I'm just gonna double check real quick, verify you should, that that is not red, right? That icon there. Because if so, I forgot to save it and then it's not gonna work right, right? You won't see my new changes. So run, execute in Chrome, launching Chrome. Wait a minute. Oh, I know why. Do you guys know why? I removed the style sheet, remember? Let's put it back in there and then let's save it. And then I can come back here and refresh. All right. So we're getting close, huh? I have a header area. See the black around here? That's all that's showing. That's actually the margin that's left. Um, in that style sheet that I had up there that I showed you guys. It's the padding. Can you see that? Yeah, it's the padding. Hold on, you can't see the browser. There, there's the browser. That's what code came out of. It started with no styling whatsoever, right? I added some CSS and now we have that. So how did this happen? Back to Notepad. The wrapper has 10 pixels of padding. So if you think of everything in your HTML, all elements, think of them as boxes. The contents of the box could have some padding around it, right? It's outside of the con contents, but inside the box. And I can, I can maybe explain that a little bit better. There is, it's called a box model uh, in HTML and um, in CSS. And, uh, and so we, we could look at a diagram that shows there are a number, there's a couple of these, there's padding, margin. All right, but uh, for, for now, doesn't matter. Uh, I use padding of 10 pixels. I use padding of, of 30 pixels on um, header one, All right? Let's go back and look at that. Browse, back to browser. So uh, I've given space above, above, and the padding would be here, right? Above the text and below the text and to the right and the left. It's just that it was centered as well, if you look at the CSS. Um, we're looking at the header right now. Center, right here it is. Header, text align center. Font size, I mean the font size 35, so it's you know good size for us to look at. And the font color white. That's all I put in there. Right? And I got I got this out. I got that whole gray area there. So that color pound six 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 is this color right here. So if we look at the footer, let's go back here. So there was the header that we did, the wrapper, which I'm saying there's some things here we don't even need. All right, I would keep the padding, but um, text. There, since there's no text in it, look, look in the, the wrapper, there's no text, right? There's nothing in there. Here's the wrapper. The text that I have written there, 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 and there is inside of a div that's inside of the wrapper. So the only things that have text that can be modified are the individual or internal divs, the header, the, the sidebar, the article, and uh, the footer, right? So there's the footer, and so we're gonna look at the footer and, and show that, you know, the fact of the matter is the footer, which will be at the bottom, because I put them in somewhat sort of order. We want them in kind of an order. It's the same thing, right? 
Oh, look at that. The footer's got 35 pixels. How'd, how'd that happen? How do I wind up with... Oh, did I, was I just saying 30? I thought I was saying 30 pixels. Oh, 35 is the font size. The padding's 10, and then the padding's 30 from then on. All right, all right. So these are all going to be the same, because I just copied one and pasted them all in there. So they would all look the same coming off the, uh, of the assembly line here. And the only, so the only thing I modified on all of these was this yellow, the color, the background color. And so we see, we see different colors um, on, because of the background color. All right, but I still haven't answered the crucial question here. Let me get my browser back so you can see it. The crucial question being, how the heck did that yellow box get over on the right-hand side? <laughs> and the orange box is over here on the left. Those two now are written in the HTML. The, there's the sidebar, right? That's above in the HTML. The viewable area, which is called the article, right? We call this the article and we call this one the footer. So what I did was I, in the code, and we saw the code before there was any uh, any CSS. There was a header. There's a sidebar. There's a visible area, this text, and then the footer area, this text. Remember? And it was all jammed up in the side here, right? Nothing. All just ugly. And so what happened is I, I dropped this yellow box in right here. In the code, it was put in right here. And then in CSS, I made one modification that took it from that area and pushed it over to the right all the way. And then my next line of HTML creates this orange box and drops it in. Because there's empty space here, it drops it in right in this empty space. All right, so let's just see where that is. Notepad, that's that. We want to look at the CSS. There's the orange box, right? The article that I got created, that I created. And here's the sidebar. So the sidebar, it went in first in the HTML, I'll show you. See, there's the sidebar first, and then there's the article, and then the footer. This is the order I put them in. It really, I mean, we want to put them in this because we want the footer to be at the bottom, right? And we know it executes top down. Left to right, top down. So the last thing, so we were, we're really concerned with here, or what the question really is about this. How did that get pushed to the right then? Even if it's feasible to accept that, okay, there's empty space, so this one got dropped in into the empty space <laughs> that exists uh, because this one vacated the left-hand side of the screen. Well, how did it vacate the left-hand side of the screen is the question. And that came with simply that line right there. Float colon right. And No, that's it. Float colon right. Font size 35 white. Yeah, there's nothing else different. So I floated that right, and then I dropped the article in there on top of it. So see the article is orange, and the sidebar is yellow. So that's that. We wind up with this. A header, orange content area, the yellow sidebar, and then a footer. Now the, the content can be modified very easily, right? It's the positioning that we're really worried about here. Now what we would probably really like to have, what we had in our original sketch that we created was, a, you know, I'm pointing to the wrong one. I need to be pointing to this. In our original sketch, if you remember, which might be here, 
yeah uh, it's not going to show properly because this thing is just some crappy there we go we've got an area in this header here we've got an area here for a logo and an area for a social media um, section where we put social media icons and maybe a little bit of text or something we put something in here social media related and we put something in here i'd like to put out an icon but uh, we don't know how to really make icons so maybe we'll steal one off the web or uh we'll just put text <laughs> we'll put just a paragraph in here right inside that are that purple box right there i'm not following the exact uh color theme that we had here for the most part right now what i have is the orange box here the sidebar right we have the orange box the header and we have the orange box as the footer that's what we have in our code which looks like i think this right so we have the header we have the content area we have the the sidebar and the footer and so the, our colors aren't the same as in that drawing but whatever the, the, it's about the positioning right and the sectioning of this whole thing so what we would like to do is get a, a section in this section so we want header to have two children right like logo area and social media area so let's see, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna put you back on Notepad here. That's not Notepad, there it is. Back on Notepad and we will look at, uh, what are we gonna look at? The code. There we go. All right, so it's in the header area. So this header area, we would like to have two more children, right? There should be a, a logo child, so a div with the ID logo. And then in addition, another child called, I don't know, social media, let's call it. So we would need to add two more divs in here. All right, so let me type those in and I'll come right back to you. 